Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. If this is your first time on the channel, let me be the first to welcome you. You're probably here because you saw my recent Scam Nation episode where I taught the Red Hot Mama, aka the Chicago Opener. In this video, we're gonna be going over some extra tips and techniques to elevate this trick into real magic. So please stay tuned. Okay, so the Chicago Opener is traditionally done with a blue deck of cards with a red off card, but it doesn't have to be that way. You could also do a red deck with a blue card and then just uh, change the patter a little bit. Something you could think about is maybe you're talking about your ex-wife and she's an ice queen and every time she touches a deck of cards, they turn blue. I don't know, whatever you want. But uh, of course, you don't have to just stick to a blue deck with a red card. You can have any color combination that you want and have a patter to match. The real strength of this trick is that it looks just like a pick a card trick. You know, the one that every uncle and grandpa in the world knows. And that you kind of do this, first this color change and then there's this transposition that happens and it's, it's just crazy, right? Uh, it, it lowers the expectations whenever you go in. Your audience is not thinking very much of what you're about to do. And then you do something just like completely over the top crazy. That's the real strength of this routine. You're subverting expectations. So don't forget that that's the real power of this trick and use it to your advantage. When you're going through the cards and you're going, hey, one card turns red, one card turns red, and there's that red card on the table already, ham it up. I can't express how important it is to be a good actor whenever you're performing magic. The more it looks like you messed up and the more your audience believes that you messed up or something went wrong, the better. Because whenever everybody's just going, wow, and then you turn over that card and now it's the queen, bam, or the, whatever it is, right? just blows their minds because you've, you're, you're riding this wave of expectation and you're really on the downward uh, edge of it whenever you just and then shoot it right up over the top of the moon. You gotta be a good actor. You gotta really ham this up and really make people believe that whatever was supposed to happen didn't happen. Don't turn over the card yourself. Whatever you do, it's gonna be the temptation. Nobody's gonna wanna grab it or maybe there'll be a little uh, tepid or something. Don't turn over that card yourself. Whenever that one card just sitting on the table, wait. Wait until they get the idea to turn it over. You meant to go, yeah, not or whatever. Don't turn it over yourself. The real power is whenever magic happens in your spectator's hands. If they get the boom and then ta-da, it's almost shocking. It's almost like, oh my gosh, it's hot. Um, you want that reaction. So don't touch the cards. Don't touch them. This is a fabulous trick for flirting. Uh, you know, you get the whole, oh, you squeeze the cards and they blush and they, you know, we did a little bit of fun with John and with Brian and everything. We're just goofing off and stuff. But this is something that's really, really great for, you know, well, picking up people at a bar. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say that. I'm happily married. But, um, you know, doing that little flirty thing where you go, oh, you squeeze the card. Look, they blushed. Oh, my gosh. Right? Are, is my face the same color as that card? All these kinds of little things. Are, are super cool and of course you have that leftover card at the end that queen of hearts or whatever perfect place to put your phone number just saying just saying if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel so you can get more awesome content like this we're a small community but we're growing and it would only be better with you here so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one